Hello and welcome to the Gothic Unicorn and to my spooky little Christmas roundup. As you can see the doll's house has been decorated with many of the things that I've made in the spooky little Christmas videos and the decorations continue inside. As you may be aware this doll's house is currently undergoing renovation and I haven't really started on the inside so to display my Christmas pieces I put together a room using bits that were in the doll's house before and one thing that I made especially that which I made especially using my clever little pointer here is the light at the back now that I sort of threw together and I will insert how I did it here. I am attempting to turn this set of battery powered wire lights into a um, freestanding floor light for my doll's house spooky Christmas room. Um, I am going to try and do this using only things that I've got around and at the moment I have pulled out the lid off a roll-on deodorant and I've got some straws and I'm hoping that I can make a light using those. I have taken the deodorant top and I put a hole in it big enough to get the straw through. Now I didn't have a drill bit big enough so I used the biggest one I could find and then I expanded the hole using, amongst other things, knitting needles. Not the most ideal um, method, but it works in this circumstances. Now inside, there's a section of the straw, which was the flexible bit of the straw, which is a bit wider. So it stops it falling all the way through and that coming off. And obviously I've put a load of glue in there, which I'm waiting to dry. I've cut this to length based upon the furniture that's going to be in the room. And I've put a little slit where the wire will come out and allow for the battery pack to be hidden behind other things. I have also started to prepare my base, which is just recycled card. A bit of packaging, just some scraps I got lying around. Um, I've got five layers that I have cut them out in circles. I'm going to put a hole through, which I will then glue the straw into. Probably um, I will add another one to the bottom just to make sure that um, it's got something at the base. And um, yeah, there's the basics of my homemade floor light. And um, this is what I've done with my set of lights to turn it into a light for the doll's house room. Um, it's a little bit lopsided the one way, but what I've done is I fed all the lights through the um, bottom of the straw up to the top and then I've just curled them all around and then if I turn that on you can see it lights up. Simple as that and then that will be secured to the floor in the doll's house because it's a little bit wobbly and then that will, will be hidden behind some of the other furniture. I left most of the pieces as they were because I don't know whether I will use them in this house in the future, in which case I will age them, renovate them appropriately, or whether they will find another home in another project or with another miniaturist. I did, however, make a cover for the sofa. It was a little too bright for the aesthetic I was going for. The sofa and chair that I pulled out to use in this room are, well, they're not in keeping. I don't know what I will do with these long term, but to sort of um, make them look a bit more um, in keeping, I decided I was going to make some throws. Now, I've not got a lot of black fabric dark fabric at the moment and obviously I don't want to be going out buying looking for stuff so I found um, something in the rag bag now this which happens to be 
um, part of a pair of old leggings. I'm hopefully going to turn into throws for these. So my child sized pair of leggings has um, furnished with me with more than enough fabric to make throws for these. And as you can see at the moment, I've just thrown it on and it is still really big. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to um, trim this off a bit more accurately and then I'm going to um, finish the edges with some glue um, and trim it again to where the glue is. Um, I am then going to um, stick some of these folds and things into place but not onto the actual piece of furniture so that when it's finished I'll be able to peel that off eventually and do something else with the um, furniture in the future. I glued the seam and then trimmed it to size, my throw, and then I have added a bit of glue in a couple of places on the sides just to keep it in place. It's not actually glued to the sofa, um, which is all I'm going to be using now. I'm going to just use the sofa, not the sofa and the chair. Um, and then it'll sort of fall on the floor a bit um, once I arrange it in the room and it'll look a bit sort of um, untidy like a real throw might and um, yeah there's the sofa disguised. Moving the Christmas tree out of the way briefly and you can get a better look at my Christmas pieces. There is my Christmas skull on the table, my reindeer pot and word blocks on the mantel and of course my gingerbread house on the side table. I have added a few purchased Christmas pieces that were bought over the years from various other mini makers like the excellent retro selection stocking and the little presents that I've put into my present stacks. The selection boxes are new this year and from a maker on Facebook. Then over here you see my little candle display. In keeping with the story of this house, I decided that this Christmas would take place not long after Grandmama had invited her granddaughter and family to move into the family house. They are still in the process of making their mark on the property, which is why there is a little bit of a mix up of old and newer styles. Obviously, as time goes on, this will change. And possibly by next Christmas, the house will look completely different. I wanted to end this video by thanking all of you who have joined me since I've taken my miniature journey onto YouTube. I hope you all have a very festive season and I hope to see you all again in 2021 for more miniature fun at the Gothic Unicorn. Bye.